Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking apart this Canon MG5220 printer and I'll just show you how to get into this printer if you want to replace parts or do whatever or if you need to pull a part off of it. Um, we'll just go over some things and should be able to get this printer <clears throat> taken apart. Um, we're going to need a flathead uh, Phillips head screwdriver and uh, first we're going to remove some things that are just removable without any tools so the front tray the back tray goes up like this here and just you can just push in the middle like I'm pushing with this hand and pull it out then there's this cover in the back pushes to the right and out it goes then um, the top cover right here you can just push it Oh, it's very easy so you just push it back like this here and it comes right out <clears throat> the front output tray you're just gonna put pressure right here when it's open this way about certain and then just push to one end and it comes out not too hard uh, power supply is on the bottom right here there's two clips one on this side and one back here so we're just gonna push it back I'm gonna do the one in the back first I'm gonna push it back and pull the power supply kind of out and then I'm gonna do this one it comes right out you're just gonna disconnect it and here's the power supply this one is K30314 for this model Now we're going to remove this control panel. So to do that, we're going to get a flathead screwdriver and just unclip it all around. So there we go. There's another one right here. right there removes and while we're at it we'll just remove the screws in the back that will release the panels right and left so that and after remove the screws we can just Push it out like so. It should be just a little too coming out like so. There we go. Nothing broken. All good. So this has the main board on here. If you're replacing that, this is the media card reader. Um, Going back to our control panel, I'm going to try to remove that. There we go. And one more screw right here. We're going to disconnect it. There's a couple of screws. Oh, there's one more right there. That should, unless something else, one of these is holding it down. Yep. So this is the control panel. Pretty simple to replace. Uh, make sure you have that in there. These go back. Like so. Okay, let's remove this side here. It's the same. Now we can see this removes just as easy. 
actually see where it's connected to and get and get it out of there. So we have the uh, scanner wiring right here. And these little ones will disconnect here and right there. I'm gonna put, go back here, remove this side. Oops, the problem is that we need to remove this attachment here. And to do so, there's a screw for this latch just comes right out and there we go this is the scanner unit for mg5220 printer okay and now we can continue removing this part Where's this down? Okay, and um, the rest should be accessible just by removing the clips, I believe. Well, there's a screw right there that we need to remove. Then there's a clip right there. It goes to the right, and it should lift up. cover now we have the timing strip right here we just move this back a little bit oops shouldn't do that um, timing strip just removes by pulling to the right and it unclamps right there and removes here. When you're putting it back, make sure you put it in the proper direction. It was like this here. So where you can read the digits right here. And that comes out. Um, this board. There are some that are just pushed in. Some with the clamp like this here. So in order to get all this, you're going to remove all the screws. I mean all the cords. <clears throat> And then we're going to remove the screws. Uh, these here. And all these here. Just be careful not to break any of the connections. Okay. screws that I removed and that should free it up okay so this is holding it down there we go this is the board main board for the printer here we go Get inside of the rest of the printer, there's a clip right here, and on that side, 
get this out. That gives you access to this. Um, right here, that's the, uh, it has the pads right there. But when replacing the pads, you still have to reset the printer. So um, something that you may want to bargain with if you want to go ahead and do that. There's The pads are all the way on the bottom there. So that's up to you if you want to mess with that. Um, this is the wireless card right here. want to get to there we go um, and that's pretty much as far as we'll go with this printer um, if you want to there's other things that you may want to replace but it's just not something that's common so we'll just stop here uh, thank you guys for watching hopefully this was helpful for you or entertaining, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day. Thank you.